Hi everyone. I'd like to quickly go through another module that uh, has been um, updated for 08 version of Foundry and that that is the patrol module. Uh, this is a module I've always wanted to try and I recently was able to do so. Um, and just to show you what it does, um, basically if you click on, once it's set up, if you click on the patrol icon, which is over on the left here, the little uh, person walking, any uh, tokens that you have set to patrol will actually just start to randomly move. And you'll notice that I have an actual outline here of um, a drawing. Uh, the token can be set up to stay within that drawing. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. What's neat as well is if you have um, your PCs uh, nearby, if the tokens see the PC, they will actually show you that they've seen them and then they will try to get to them. Now these, pat these patrols are stuck within the diagram so they can't get to the PC, but uh, you notice that there was an exclamation mark that appeared here which basically showed that uh, it had stopped because it was uh, focused on the PC's token and, it and the whole screen actually shifted to show you that. So uh, let's just talk about how this uh, module is set up and uh, how you can get it to work. So as always, in order to install a module in uh, Foundry, uh, you'd want to go to your uh, configuration setup click on uh, add on modules and then uh, you'll see that I already have the patrol module here but you just click on install module type in patrol in the package name here and uh, you can then install it you can see that the uh, author is the ripper 93 uh, here um, so um, once it's installed uh, what you want to do I'm going to launch my test world here and um, make sure to I'm going to go to uh, this page here and just activate it to make sure it's the page we're going to be working on. Um, go to manage modules, turn it on. Now you'll see that mine is already on and you also need lib wrapper and you need socket lib for this uh, module to work. And I believe the first time you try to turn it on, it will say so. Um, but just to show you what would happen uh, if I tried to turn it off, it just tells you that there's two more dependencies, so you can disable those right away or enable them once you enable it. So there's a there's a little bit of a, um, a message there reminding you that you need those two as well. So I'm going to save my module settings, and uh, I have a couple of test tokens here. So um, let's just make sure we know this is the monster. So I'm going to display its name, and I'm going to put a test PC out on the map as well. Now um, we're going to give this token vision. So we're going to say that it has bright vision up to, uh, let's say uh, 40 feet. Okay. So 40 feet, 10, 20, 30, 40. So right now, technically uh, that monster wouldn't be able to see um, this character um, because it's too far away if it was in dark light. Okay. So uh, right now the patrol icon, which is this little walking person here is turned off. But in order to get the monster to patrol, you have to do a couple of things. You have to go into the uh, token settings, into position, and then enable patrol. And if you want the token to actually spot the player and actually in interact with the player, you also have to tag that as well. Okay, so I'm gonna update my token. I'm going to press close. Now, if the token is selected, I've made this mistake a couple of times thinking the module wasn't working at first. If the token is selected, the monster will not move. All right. So I'm going to deselect by clicking somewhere else and I'm going to click on patrol and you can see that the monster has started to patrol. Uh, it is going to follow basically a random path. And what happened here is it found my PC's uh, token. So that's the monster. That's the PC and it rushed right to its side and um, and basically focused the attention directly on there with that uh, exclamation point, okay? Now, there's other things you can do here. Um, let's say I didn't want the monster to patrol outside of a certain area. Well, if I go to drawings, now it, 
I believe it has to be the polygon tool. You can't use any of the other ones as far as I know. Um, it does say so on the page where the module, on the GitLab page, or the GitHub page, sorry. So I'm just gonna draw a polygon here. Let's say we just do that. And you have to go into the text and call it patrol and it has to have a capital P. If I can spell. Now, uh, if I go back to um, my characters here, I'm gonna make sure it's deselected. And um, let's see if I can get it to start here. Unpause the game. So it has seen my token from that distance. Now all of a sudden, and it's gonna stop and say, something's going on and you see that it focused right in. Now, if I move the token further away and I start the patrol again, sorry, the game is paused. That's why it wasn't starting. So now the token should stay within that polygon and not escape. So it's coming close to the wall. You'll see it should bounce off and go in another direction as it did right there. So it's going to keep patrolling randomly in that area uh, until uh, either you stop it, you click on it. If I click on it, it'll stop. See, it moved for a little bit and then it stopped. And I believe there's settings that can affect how fast that reacts. Um, so I'll just turn it back on here. Actually, I could have just des deselected it for it to turn back on. So if you had a PC that was walking, right? And all of a sudden, boom, it can see the PC and um, it's going to stop because it, it can see it and you can see that the PC was detected. Now, in the settings for this module, there are some settings. You can set up a sound effect to play uh, when the token is spotted and you can set up a sound effect to play uh, when the enemy is alerted, alerted sorry, by a character. Uh, here are the delays that I was talking about. Um, and you can also enable diagonal movement, which I've actually never tried because it, in, it increases computation time and I don't feel that it's absolutely necessary. Um, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure exactly what smooth movement does. I'm assuming it does exactly what it says. Uh, and it does say there might be some grid misalignments on spotting, but I really don't care about that. I would rather my movement be smooth. Um, so that's basically how patrol works. And um, the tokens will uh, follow wall settings as well. So if there's walls in your um, scene, so let's see here if I uh, drew a wall, let's say um, a couple of walls here, and then uh, we'll see what happens. I'll put another wall like this and I will start the patrol. Okay, so it's it detected my uh, PC here, so I'm going to move that out of the way, and let's just see how it behaves uh, around the walls. So you can see it went under that wall. Oh, it detected the PC again, so I'm actually going to just remove the PC right off of the screen here. So it should bounce off that wall. And there you go. So not only will it um, be restricted within the uh, drawing, but it will also um, behave naturally around walls as well. So really neat little module. Um, could just add a little bit of animation to your scenes and maybe your characters will be a little bit surprised when they see them moving. So I just thought I would share that with everybody. Um, enjoy Foundry.